Hey everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be trying out a whole plethora of the new Crayola Beauty from ASOS. I know this stuff has been like all over YouTube and I feel like I got a good little sampling of what they have so I can see if this makeup is really worth it. So because I have so many products to try out, I'm just going to dive in and I'm not going to waste any time. So the first thing I'm going to start with is the Mermaid Eyeshadow Palette. It retails for $29 and comes in 10 shades. A side note is that when I got it, this whole pan fell out and I had to glue gun it in. And I know that that is something that a lot of people were having problems with. So I'm not sure what Crayola Beauty was doing, but they definitely need to fix that. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is go into this light orange shade and just make it my transition shade really quick. All right, so far I'm getting a lot of fallout in the pan, but nothing on my cheeks yet. And then next I'm gonna go in with this pink shade and put it in my upper crease. All right, now I'm getting fallout on my cheeks. And because it's glitter, it's kinda staying there. Okay, now I'm going to go in with this greeny teal shade and put it in my crease. Now I'm going to go into this blue sparkly shade and put it on my eyelid. And now I'm going to use this bright teal shade and just smoke out my under eye. All right, so for this palette, I feel like the colors aren't, you know, terrible, but the payoff is pretty bad. I had to layer and layer and layer just to get, you know, this light amount of pigmentation that I have. So I don't think I'm gonna be reaching for this guy again. Next, I have a Color Crayon Trio, and this is the Cloudy Day, so it comes in black, gray, and white. The white, I'm gonna pop in my lower lash line to brighten up my eyes. All right, that did a good job. I definitely like that. And now I'm gonna try this black and use it as eyeliner. Okay, so that is definitely not black. That is like maybe a dark gray. And because this isn't such a sharp point, it was really hard to get the detail and make a point with it. And I'm not even sure how you would get this pointier if it would work in a pencil sharpener. So definitely don't like these guys. Okay, last for the eyes, we're gonna try their mascara. All right, that's decent, but I feel like drugstore is better. And something to note that that black is transferring to my upper eyelid because it is like so greasy. So definitely, definitely won't be reaching for that again. All right now I'm gonna try out their customizable lip palette. I'm kind of just going to mix some colors together on my lips and see how this stuff feels. Alright, I'm actually not hating that. The pigmentation isn't like spectacular. I had to build it up, but it feels really moisturizing. Unfortunately, it doesn't feel like it's going to stay. It's definitely not transfer proof. You know, it came right off on my finger. But even as it's coming off, it's still leaving like a tiny bit of a stain. So that is pretty cool. I definitely think I might be reaching for that one in the future. All right, now I'm going to wipe this off and I want to go with these face crayons. So of course I had to get red because it is a staple in the Crayola color universe. So we are just going to try this one on my lips. that is a super pretty red but unfortunately because this tip isn't very fine point and I suck it was hard to get a good line on my lips and I'm still not sure how you would sharpen this guy what I would do is, is I would just like warm it on my hand and sharp it to a point that way but you're wasting a lot of product and making a mess to do that and it's still not even that pointy but I definitely like this guy all right, and the last is this face crayon in the shade Marvelous, and I thought it would be like a really good peachy nude for my lips. All right, I really like this. I think out of everything that I've tried out, this is my favorite. It feels nice. It actually tastes like a little bit like raspberry, just a very hint of it. 
and it feels really nice. So this one I'm really, really glad that I got. All right, so all in all, not the biggest fan of these products. The palette wasn't very pigmented. The eyeliner crayon kind of did a shoddy job, but I did like the white for the under eye, so I am gonna continue to use that probably daily. The mascara was meh. The customizable lip palette I did like, and I did like those two lip crayons, the red and the marvelous. So all in all, not terrible, but not something I'm freaking out about. All right, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Now go have yourself an awesome day.